Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about um, a DFM wizard that's been introduced at QIR7, so Hotfix 48 of 17.2. It's available in all the levels of the PCB Editor tool, so Orca PCB Designer Standard up to uh, Professional and then Allegro PCB Designer as well. So Kane's introduced um, some DFM rules uh, quite a while ago, I think it was about QIR3 or QIR4. Um, that basically if we go to constraint manager there's a manufacturing tab and obviously we've got design for fabrication which covers things like annular checks and outline checks and silk screen checks etc um, they've introduced design for assembly and design for tests now um, but obviously setting rules for a lot of these values um, can be quite complex and confusing and not knowing exactly what you need to check now obviously not all fabricators are providing rule sets yet some of them are and i'll record a video just going through how you can access some of those um, but obviously having some default values set for these can be can be good, a good starting point. So if we um, close Constraint Manager and then we can go to the Setup menu, we've now got something called the Design True DFM Wizard. So we'll start with this, um, a basic welcome page. We can then click Next. So in this design, we've got um, four stack ups. So I've got a primary section, I've got some flexi areas, and I've got some stiffener areas. So you can see these sections are defined here. So we're then going to define a rule set for each section. So obviously I've got a primary stack up. Do I want it to be a rigid or a flexi? So obviously a rigid section, so we'll just click next. Flexi one would be a flexi section. Flexi stiffener is also a flexi section. Uh, and the LCD stiffener is also a, a flexi section. So I've then got some default design for fabrication rules, default design for assembly rules, and default design for test rules. It's going to create some EC sets in that manufacturing section. So we'll click on next to accept those. It's then going to create the rules for me. So it's generated effectively um, 120 outline rules, four mass rules, annual ring checks, etc., etc., based on the rules. It's also going to uh, um, update the analysis mode for me, and I'll show you how what this actually entails when I click on finish. And then what you'll find is I then get um, quite a few DRCs. I've got 7,000 DRCs that I might need to start looking at. If you go to setup constraint modes, and we look under effectively the different modes here. You can see some of the DRC checks have been enabled here, so you can actually see what DRC checks are enabled. These aren't enabled by default, but the wizard does turn them on for you. So um, we can actually start to look at some of these. So let's just zoom in um, and let's go to um, let's go to the find pane. Let's just turn off and look, look at our DRC markers. So we start to hover over our DRC markers. I've got some annular ring pin pin pad to mask checks. I've got some uh, pin pad to mask check. So if we actually look at the visibility tab, we'll start off with a blank canvas. Let's just look at our effectively our solder mask chop top and our paste mask top. I've got some DRC errors related to these. So I can simplify these quite um, quite quickly. Let's go to Constraint Manager. Let's have a look at our design for assembly. Um, and we can see effectively we've got some paste mask DRC, DRC check. So it's looking at paste mask to pad what size is my paste mask opening versus my pad size this is based on a 98 percent um in my example all of these are set to 100 percent. so i'm just going to say 100 percent for all of these um, and it's also saying paste mask to mask type so obviously this is paste mask to things like solder mask um i've got to have a smaller paste mask than my solder mask again i've got these set at 100 percent, so i'm just going to set a zero value for these um, if we then come back and do an update DRC, we'll get rid of a lot of these. So obviously, I've got some annual issue checks here, but you can see a lot of the DRC checks are starting to disappear. So you've gone down to from 7,000 down to 2,000. So it's just a matter of, of looking at each DRC check, finding what they are, and maybe disabling some as you go along. So obviously, hovering over, you can look at the annular ring. These are all based on an annular ring check. Um, so annular ring pin pad to mask. So if we look at the annular ring. Um, Pad to mask, again, I've got something slightly smaller here, so I'm going to set these to be zero. And then come and update the DRC. Those DRCs have disappeared. So we're starting to simplify the DRC checks. This one, spacing paste mask to paste mask, so I might have to look at the paste mask openings for that because this is a specific device, or I might need to increase the paste mask clearance. But you can start to work through each layer by layer to work out what the DRCs are, whether they're valid to you or not. Um, and start to correct them. But that's the DFM wizard.